Hi there, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I'm going to share a Goodwill haul for today. Um, hadn't really been thrifting in a long, in quite a while, but I decided to go by Goodwill today, and they had a ton of great stuff. A ton of stuff I didn't buy, um, but a few things that I did buy. Uh, some of them for resale, some of them for me. And I'm just sitting there looking. I bought 14 items, but there it says 13 on my receipt. Um... I think this little vintage guy right here, she must not have charged me for. It's like a little toilet paper ring kind of size thing, a little yarn candle. I thought it was really cute, and I remember grabbing it with it, and it didn't have a ticket on it. It probably fell off because it's fabric. <clears throat> and um, as I was talking to the girl, she was ooing and, ah ooing and aahing over everything I got, so I forgot to ask her that this didn't have a price, and I think she might have just chunked it in. For free because um looks like everything else is on here everything but well white was the color that was orange was the color that was half price today i only got one thing anyway it's not really cute i thought that was adorable i can't resist kitschy christmas like that so that's the first thing i grabbed let me put that away and the only thing i got that was half price was uh this was 50 cents this is one of those vintage picture uh, cubes uh, I like to put those, I like to pick those up when I can. This one, I think I'm going to do some, like, vintage Christmas pictures or cards or something like that, like that in it. Uh, but that was a great deal for 50 cents. Uh, and you can resell those, um, if you like lots of them together. They sell pretty well. Let's see. I also picked up these really cute vintage Christmas tree balls for $1.49. Um, this is the silk kind. I, I, I want to say, I remember my mom having some like this in the 70s. Not this color green, though. This is the coolest green. It's almost like a key lime, well, like a lime green, sort of. Maybe like a Grinch green. Um, I'm pretty sure they're vintage from the plastic hanger, and they're in really, really good shape. There's not a lot of fraying anywhere. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and I dropped one. I think there was about ten in there. But those will be really cute with something that I do this year for Christmas for $1.49. <clears throat> I picked up this really cute little pitcher. And I didn't remember having this chip when I picked it up, although it could have. There's a little chip on the owl's ear right there. But I can touch that up. Um, that is not something I would put in my kiln and touch up because I'm just not sure about it. But it had a $7.95 for the set. That was probably from wherever someone sold it at. Um, I think I paid $1.49 and I looked everywhere for the, the I guess, what would be the um, creamer. But I couldn't find it any, anywhere. It looks sort of Japanish to me. I'll probably Google it and see what the creamer is supposed to look like. But that was a really cute find. I love that guy. <clears throat> and this tiny little thing, I way overpaid for this. And actually, Goodwill's prices are so much higher than they used to be. I overpaid for a lot of things, but um, that's just how it is now. Two forty nine, I paid for this one little ornament, um, but it's a cute bell made in made in Taiwan with a little tiny um, nativity scene. If you ever watch my videos, you know I can't resist nativity scenes. I don't know if it was homemade or what, but I loved it, and I thought, wow, that's, I actually kind of struggle back and forth. Do I want to buy this? Do I not? I probably shouldn't have because I have a million, but they're hard to resist. Um, so I picked that up. This guy I kind of also debated on getting. Um, I will probably try to sell it. It is a wooden, like, hanging stand, I guess you'd call it. Um. I paid $3.99, and it has, um, I think they have, they have the cups upside down, because you, obviously, here's the hang, where you would hang it, but it has uh, four egg cups in it, and they're the Del, the Holland, well, let's see if I get that in focus, the Holland Delft Blue egg cups with the little a windmill pattern, they're, they're all the same, they all have the same pattern. They're actually really filthy, but I thought those were cute, and I'm sure I'll try to list this. I just have to clean up the cups, and I'm thinking maybe kind of sand this down 
and maybe put a white chalk paint over it and then um, kind of distress it maybe for some of the brown to come back through and sell it that way. Or maybe kind of a cream paint because this is really more of a cream more than a stark white. But I thought that was really cute. I don't use egg cups, but I feel like somebody would probably like to have that that does. So I'll grab that guy. Hopefully that'll help me make some of my money back. And then I got this really cute um, <clears throat> plant uh, waterer, water pitcher, or plant waterer. It's 1996, I think that says. Union Union products, I think some of those make the blow molds, but it's like the blow mold material. He was $1.99, and I could not resist him. It's a little elephant uh, water can, and he's plastic. Um, but I need another one in here because my husband keeps taking mine. So um, he's not too big and he'll be good for my inside plants that I have in the window here. But I couldn't resist him. He was just too cute. I tried to, but I couldn't. And then I got this and I love this. Um, I just love the fabric on top. It's a sewing box. The wicker, it's really pretty wicker. Uh, really nice, shiny, glossy wicker. And I thought, oh, this is kind of new. I looked at it. It has the tray, the plastic tray. This has a little tear in it. but And then it's pretty clean inside. Actually, I think I might have just broke that tray. I don't think it was broke when I picked it up. But it said made exclusively for Singer. Um, here's what you can put your pins, put your other stuff. I have plenty of sewing stuff, and I don't really need this. I just love the basket. Um, and it was in great, fabulous shape. See if I can pan out a little bit. I paid $3.99 for it. Um, I just thought it was adorable. And I was debating on it until I saw... See, it's in really good shape. It's kind of Christmassy too, I guess, if you want to make it Christmassy. Um, and a kind of a... Not wood, but I'm not sure what the bottom is. But it said it was stamped made in Japan. So I'm not sure how old it is. Um, I'm going to have to Google that and see, but it's got nice little feet on it. It's just in really good shape, very clean. And I just thought it was a gorgeous little basket for whatever I use it for. Um, so that definitely is staying with me, but I feel like I could sell that if I wanted, if I wanted to. Um, and I found another puzzle. I recently put on some videos showing some of the horses out at the Sandwash Basin in Colorado, near Craig, Colorado. Um, the government was rounding them up, and it was just a big thing here. I love going out there. There is like therapy for me to go out there and watch and see these horses. So I've just been really like, I don't know, thinking about them lately. But this was a brand new um, sealed. It does have a barcode, so I don't know how old it is, but... For $2.49, I love to, like I said before, I've never not sold a puzzle that I've sold. A lot of sold vintage ones, newer ones, in-between ones. But I love this one, Born to Run. And it's, you know, they're, they're wild horses. They're not like bridles or, you know, anything like that. I just love the picture, and I'm really going to enjoy putting this together. It's a pretty big one, 27 by 20. But for that price, that was a great price. A lot of, and I'll usually sell like something like this for 25 to 30 dollars if it's not opened. But more than likely, I am going to open this one, put it together, and probably frame it. We'll just see. I'm most likely not going to sell it, but um, it was just perfect. Very pretty. I am excited to do that. I'm actually working on a Christmas one right now that I'm going to try to sell so I can't I have to finish that one first and it's tough and I usually can tear up a puzzle but this Christmas one I'm doing is taking me forever um this little plate I just loved it blue is my favorite color um it didn't have any chips or cracks I have no really significant um connection to the year 1998 but I loved the blue the Merry Christmas the little kids at the fireplace that was just so pretty and I was thinking okay no matter what this is before I turned it over I'm gonna get it um so when I turned it over this was so intriguing there's a note under the price tag I paid $1.99 and let's see if I can see what this note says I thought, oh, that's so sweet, but yet sad at the same time. 
I hope I can do it without messing it up, but it seems to be working fairly well. Andy Williams Theater. Andy Williams Theater, Moon River, Branson, Missouri, Christmas show, we moved into our house. Well, that's so cool because my, I know who Andy Williams is. He's a singer. My mother has always wanted to go to Branson. She watches a show on TV um, from Branson. It's almost like Nat, like a Nashville kind of show, like country music or something. So I'm wondering if this is where they bought that at. Let's see if I can pull this up. And you know what? I'm going to leave that on there because I'm most likely going to hang this up. So a happy holiday to you, Royal Crownford by Norma Sturman, Staffordshire, England. Anyway, that was so cool. And that's kind of funny that um it just says that. I was figuring it said something like to so-and-so from grandma or something, but um, it was just, it's so pretty. I had to get it. Um, I definitely do a lot of blue. If you've seen my Christmas videos before, I do a lot of blue in my decorating. Um, and this guy is so cute. Uh, he is not marked. I'm not sure who made this guy. It's, um, what pottery company it's, I don't think it's a, like a handmade poured and made piece. Um, I'm pretty sure he was probably a cookie jar and someone lost a lid. I looked everywhere for the lid. This guy was only $4.99. Um, but I thought he would be so cute as a planter. I don't really, I'm going to, this green glaze is beautiful. That's very, that's a, a vintage glaze I can tell. But this blue, it, it look, it's like an acrylic. I don't know what kind of paint that blue is, and I'm not sure why they did that. I mean, I didn't really notice it at first, but the more I started looking at it, I'm like, wow, that, why did they do that? And I might attempt to, like down here on the foot, try to get it off and see if it comes off without hurting the glaze. Um, and if I can, I'll show you that when I'm finished. But what a cute planter he will be, or anything. Um, I don't know. It's kind of fat for a utensil holder, but... He is going to be, he is so cute. I just could not leave him there, um, even though I didn't find the lid. <laughs> but like I said, I am probably certain he was a cookie jar. Maybe not, though. Maybe he was a planter already, and maybe he's, maybe he's um, modern. But um, anyway, I just had to bring him home. I thought it was adorable. And then before I went to Goodwill, I went to a an estate sale for the first time in quite a while. Um... I bought, didn't buy a whole lot, but I got a few, some Christmas stuff, and I got this guy. Let's see if I can open this up. Years ago, when, when I was in high school, I did a family tree for a school project, and I, it's been misplaced, and I've kind of misplaced a lot of the names and stuff on it, and my family's getting older and older, and there's not many people anymore that might know, but... um. I want to try to redo it, and I found this rolled up in some wrapping paper. Uh, it says family tree. It's nothing special. Our, our children, and it lists, you just, you list, like, the wife on this side, and it goes all the way down to, like, great-great-grandmother on, you know, great-great-grandfather on each side, and then the husband on this side, and then maternal aunts, maternal aunts, wife's brothers and sisters, husband. I just thought it was really cool, and I will enjoy maybe trying to fill this out and catch it up um and i don't really think the lady charged me anything for it i didn't pay much at all for what i got i'll show you the rest in just a second here so i really mostly what i got was a um a bucket of christmas stuff in there it was just all piled in so this um these are some things. What I was really getting was a vintage wreath, and I'll show you that in a minute, and then some um, Christmas uh, floral picks and things. Um, but what was in the, one of the couple of things that were in the bucket was this cute little tree, little, uh, you put it on your light, on your, your string of lights, little Santa house, almost kind of like a little putt's house, but a little plastic house that fits on your lights. And then I had, there was two of those, and they were, they're the same. Um... There was a couple little ornaments. It looks like someone maybe made this. It looks almost like a Hummel picture in there, and it's double-sided. But I thought that was really cute, cute, nice, and vintage. There was that one, and then there was this one. 
I don't know if they made them or if they bought them. Then there's two of these weird little weird little trees. Um, I'm not, <laughs> it falls over. I'll have to like work on it to fix it. But there's a silver one. And I think over there is kind of a pink tinged one. But those were cute if I can get them to stand up or do something with them. Um, there was a couple little angels in there, which I'll probably just stick on one of my vintage trees. And that does say made in Hong Kong. And then this one I, I was a nice surprise. I didn't see it till I got home. Um, I, I have a homemade nativity, ceramic nativity that I made years and years ago. Um, and my angel got broken recently and I thought I would replace her. Well, this is gorgeous. I love blue. The blue is pretty. This is what kind of what mine looked like. She had the glory, um, whatever you call that, that she's holding. And I thought she was so pretty and she's not messed up. And she was made in Japan as well. So that is going to replace my nativity angel. I got a couple um, sort of vintage. This lady that owned this house was, oh my God, she was so cool. I would have loved to have met her. Her house was gorgeous. It was fabulous. She was, the stuff she had was so neat. Vintage ladies combs. My mother-in-law wears combs still like this. There was a matching one to this one, but it was broken in half. So I didn't pick it up. On this one, there was just one, but I grabbed those. For her because I thought she might appreciate those. They're very vintage, very cute. So let me grab what else I got there. All right, so this is the wreath. Let's see if I can grab my phone. Um, it's just that vintage plastic. I love these things, and quite a few of the picks need to be put back in, um, but I got one, two, three that could have gotten lost. Um, I'll probably take that gold ribbon out. It's hard to see it, but I plan on adding some cute vintage ornaments to that. Um, or maybe, or you could also use this on your table. Take the re take the bow off and put a candle in the middle. But I'm gonna hang it and add some vintage ornaments to it because I have way so I have too many vintage ornaments. I cannot, and I'm decreasing the amount of trees that I'm gonna put up this year. So I'm gonna start doing some wreaths with my vintage ornaments and display them that way. It'll be much easier to display them, store them, and kind of keep them contained. And let's see if this will work to get you over here. I'm just going to show you what I... I also got this tub of... It's mostly picks. They're not, they're not mercury beads. They're just... I don't think they are. They're just strands of gold, red, and red picks of all shapes and sizes. Um, just to, do, to work on my research. That, so so the, these... The wreath and the few little ornaments that I showed you, um, plus these two tops, I only paid $10 for all of it, which was a pretty good deal. This right here, I don't usually buy a lot of clothes, but this was so pretty. It's a Lisa original. It's just, if it shows up in this room, gold, very pretty gold, it's like... I don't know if you call this a sweater or just um, something you'd wear over a blouse. And I did actually try that on when I was there. Um, and it had a, it wasn't priced, so I wasn't sure how much it was. But I thought, well, if we'll just see what she charges me. She only charged me $2 for each one of these. And then everything was 25% off. So I ended up paying like $10, $11 for all of it, which I thought was a great deal. This is very pretty. This will be really pretty with like a black top or something um and then i got this one this one will not fit me but it was just too pretty to leave if i just use it for the fabric it's kind of a green turquoise notation size large but it looks it looks really small um just glittery just very pretty that would be gorgeous with like a black skirt and i have some nieces that might one of them might wear it or want it if not, I can use it for 
just use the fabric, although I'd hate to cut it up, but it's rather sheer, but it's so pretty. And then I did forget to show you a few more things I got at Goodwill. And this is where I really overpaid. Um, I have gotten many popcorn um, ornaments from this Goodwill, usually um, for, for 99 cents to 199. So I went in and I saw this pile laying on the, on the bottom shelf. This Rudolph, and I think I have him already, but I'm not sure. He seems kind of small compared to what I'm thinking. I paid $3.99 for, but he was in really good shape. They're dirty. They need to be cleaned up, but um, they're in really good shape. I don't think I saw any broken pieces, but if I have him already, I will probably sell him. And then $3.99, that's not too bad to pay for, I guess. Um, but this Santa and the sleigh, and I might have him backwards. No, I don't. I paid $5.99 for this guy, which I said normally I would have paid about $1.99, but I don't think I have him, um, so I had to get him. I know I have a Santa, but I think it's just a Santa. And then this turkey, yeah, I really overpaid for. I paid $6.99 for the turkey. Won't really focus there, but... He is pretty big, and I, I'm i pretty sure I have a turkey already, but he is nowhere near this big. I want to say my turkey is smaller than the Santa and the sleigh, um, but I couldn't leave them. I just, you know, when you see those things, you just have to pick them up, and I was, was a little discouraged with the prices, but I always go in there, and I fill up my cart, and I then I'll go take my cart when I'm finished, in the corner and I'll reevaluate everything and I almost always put some things back. Um, and there was a couple things that I wanted, but I will go back tomorrow because tomorrow is their half price day on everything but white. But of course, almost everything I bought today was white. Um, but that's how it goes for me. <coughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to add a few pictures at the end showing you some things that I thought was interesting that I would have, I might would have bought if they didn't have an issue with them. One of them, there's this really pretty handmade ceramic rooster with a chick and I, it's a big piece and I remember my mom making it for my grandmother when I was a kid. It was gorgeous, but they had it priced at like $15 and it, and the rooster was missing its foot. <laughs> there was a lot of things missing hands and feet today. Um, that I took some pictures of that would have been fabulous finds. But um, I might go back and get that guy half price and fix him, save the ceramic, as I say, um, because I have a way I have a way that I could fix him and still use him. It was just painted so pretty. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like, share, subscribe, and come back to see more. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.